All right, giddy, hide, woke up. There's my little cat. She's lying in front of that truck a couple of minutes ago. Oh, look at her, she's all dirty. Miss you, all dirty. She's rolling in the ground. That's what kind of day it's gonna be. Wakey, wakey. Okay. Shaking bakey. All right. Oh. Dad took off with the tractor. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's gone. Dad. Going back to the bush, I guess. Oh, I forgot my car dolly. Uh, my wheel dolly, sorry. I have a, if, I, if, if my energy allows me. Have a freezer and a hot water tank to pick up. I told my friend I'd, I'd stop by her place and pick it up this week. I figured, well, see, I'm going out there today. I try to, you know, first off, gotta get the gassy smell out of here. Ooh. Nah. <laughs> I left the gas can in here for about two days. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a little bit gassy in here. <sighs> if I suddenly fall asleep out the wheel, you'll know what happened. <laughs> Got paid by them. They paid me with, um, they paid me my 400 bucks for the season. And they paid me with a bottle, two bottles of wine. So I gave one to my friend. Uh, I'm not a big wine drinker. I'm not a big drinker, let alone a wine drinker. I drank a lot when I was like, oh, that looks good. Uh, drank a lot when I was like a teenager and you know going to college and stuff like that so I was like ah, I've had my fill of it but anyway I got uh, 400 bucks and two bottles of wine so I gave one to my buddy Paul and his wife so and then I thought well, okay well maybe I'll try a bottle of wine and I realized I have probably the only house in the world that doesn't have a, a wine opener <laughs> wine bottle opener Kiddos out there. What if you're playing a uh, shock on the swing there? You come down that swing and you get build up enough static and you touch the kid at the bottom. Or when the kid's coming down, you just sit there and they <laughs> get a zap. I showed a bunch of kids how to do that and my nephew. And it's like they just laugh like crazy. It's like I say, you gotta rub your hands against the, the slide and get when you feel it really fuzzy and you hear <laughs> like that. Don't do anything and let the other kid go down and just touch his nose or something. <laughs> look at look at Yeah. I think he made it. Batteries stuck to my wheel. That was a close one. That was a close one. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if I got I hope I didn't get him. They hang out on the road, right? Little chip bumps. Try not to, you know. Like, I'm not gonna ditch the truck for a chip, you know what I mean? A moose, yeah. Because, like, a moose, you could die, you know what I mean? Like, a chip bunk, well, you're just gonna have something sticky to your tire for a little while. Um, yeah, so, if my back allows for it, to, it seems like when I take a day off, that's when my back gets really sore. It's like, I'm, I'm at that age where I'm just sore for no reason. <laughs> you know, but uh, mind you, last week there, like, uh, I was gonna go and work yesterday, and I was just like, no, nah, I gotta take a day. Uh, like, that was hard, hard work last week. All that wheelbarrowing and the rain, and then, uh, you know, doing that nine hour day pulling weeds and stuff. Oh, yeah, that, that, that one did me in the hot ditch, <laughs> stone ditch. That was pretty, uh, pre pretty nasty. So sometimes you got to give your body a break, but then it seems like when you give your body a break, you don't feel better. You just realize how sore you are, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, like when you're in your 20s, uh, you walk it off after five minutes, but like when you're in your 50s, boy, it's, uh, you know, I got to be like so like crippled up by the time I'm like, if I live long enough, I'll probably work myself to death before that. But um, yeah, if I lived in my 70s, I just could be fucking hobbling everywhere. Like, so I sort of unplugged my ear a bit, but it kind of still plugs, replugs, unplugs. 
you know, so it's getting there. So I have to yell at everybody when I'm talking to them because I can't hear myself. <laughs> so everybody thinks I'm mad at them. I was like, no, no, I just, I'm deaf in one ear right now. <laughs> yeah, they kind of need that as a musician, so. Motorcycle. Hey, good morning to be out. 18 degrees. That's good riding temperature. Yeah. So I found out, uh, I was talking to my, my client last night, uh, why the lawnmower overheated. Uh, there's an air intake and uh, with a mesh screen, the mesh screen was full, full, full. He said it was packed tight. Uh, he says he cleared that out and everything was fine. So it did have enough oil in it. On that. But the thing did overheat, so, that, so it wasn't getting enough air. So That's uh, apparently what it was. So. I'll just have to monitor today so hopefully everything goes well. I don't have any mishaps with the lawnmower. Yeah, here we go.